guys welcome back to my channel my name is Anika if you're coming for the first time welcome and please go ahead and subscribe if you already subscribe welcome again back to my channel thank you so much for coming all right now still on the countdown to my anniversary guys I'm just freshening up my hair so these are the hair that were in the front line here so what I did after I pulled them out some of these that were here was like kind of sliding back so i just put these right in the extreme top of those to just let it look more fresh up to the front all right so what i did with the front this time i didn't care i didn't conroy it what i did i plait them individually i plait them individually i don't know if you can see that and I plait this first, then I plait this, so you can still see the little parts. All right? I think it would be way, way, way much easier than doing what I did last time. So, I have these out. So, I'm thinking of tucking them into one of these hairs with a crochet needle. I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna tuck this in, tuck it into oops the needle so that I don't have to because trust me that process that procedure or that process that I did it took time people it took time so I'm just gonna oh the needle is stuck oh the clasp was not closed so let's see okay clasp is now closed Ugh. so if it's not one thing it's the other okay it's through now oops something stuck there though all right there we go so that's just one through so i'm gonna pull it through here again so it's actually going through the can con rows that i have in there where the hair has been crocheted onto so this is just a quick fix all right so I just want to make sure that the hair is not showing so see I got that tucked in really nice so this is the hair again same hair I had some left back from last time guys if outside is pretty dark it is pretty still no wind is blowing so it is really hot right now inside so i turned the air condition on but still kind of warm as you can see see me look glistening okay so let's go with this fresh look so the first one is coming down to the end i don't know if you can see there's a mirror there that i'm looking actually looking into all right, so that's the first one. Where did I do it here? Okay. They, this ain't gonna take much time because it's just, you know, put it in. But when I pulled those air out, guys, I did use my oils and I moisturized the air to make sure that I don't keep it dry or so I can get breakage. Okay, I don't wanna break nothing working too hard on this here for it to break now so guys i am so excited for my anniversary oh shoot oh there you go i want to make sure that they're separated for my anniversary which is tomorrow well actually when you see this video it will be my anniversary because this is like the day before. I think I need to put one here. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit fuller in the front. So I can throw it about in any direction. So far, there it is. Grab some more hair. 
this hair again because this hair can be reused but I think I want to buy some more of this hair because I really like it okay all right so here we go so guys I'm just showing you all that I'm doing towards my anniversary Yep, so as you can see, I already take the polish off my nails. And you know I did my own nails as well. So I don't know what I'm going to put on them right now. If I'm going to use whatever color, you will see that in photos. And the thing is, guys, we both have to work tomorrow on our anniversary. Today is the 22nd. Well, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday, which would be the day. How am I looking so far? This hair is always like this. So what I do, I just use the edge control to get it down. So I'm going to turn a little bit to the side now and I'm going to tuck this hair into this other corner over here. Alright, one through. And I'm going to pull it through the other way. Oh, oops. I can't see. Tuck it in, like the snap, and it comes right through. And I'm going to do that one more time. All right, guys, so see that hair is well tucked in. <sighs> gonna have my ear in now. So, how you guys been doing? This is number one. So guys, if you did not see my video when I installed these airy, you can go back and take a look to see how I, well, you are actually seeing how I am installing this now, but you will see on that video, because these here, I had them plat single. And then I added the air through it. I did that metal method, the single method. Just like how I'm doing now, but the only thing is that my hair was inside the crochet. So you can go ahead and check out that video. And you guys, you remember I was doing a oils for my eyelash. So the same oils that I basically use in my hair. I have a container that I mix them up and put in to do for my eyelash to grow. If right now you see under here shine, it's, that's what's there. Before guys, I could not see the lashes under my eyes. The bottom lashes. I couldn't see them. But now, I don't know if you can see them right now. They are indeed there. They are there. And my eyelashes have grown. This is it. I have castor oil, coconut oil, uh, avocado oil. And I didn't put a peppermint oil in there. There's one more oil inside there that I don't remember right now. I think it's a grapeseed oil. So I had those four oils in it and I haven't been using it as often as when I just made it. But guys, yep, it works. Yep, 
I'm gonna put one more here because this look this side looks fluffier than this I'm gonna just add one more here right up top there right up in at the top here so it looks fluffier because on my hair one side of my hair grow grows thicker and that's the left side on the right side here my hair grows a lot thinner so there it is guys I do it so I can have a little set apart here now well actually it's not center but this is it I don't know what just let me know what you think how do you like it so I mostly wear my hair down so there it is guys so also remember for if all right for us ladies that like to do our nails sometimes we wash and we use a lot of water we wash plates and all that we use a lot of water and then you start to see under the nail dark if you don't want to remove that nail you can get a little bottle like this as you can see what's inside this bottle right now is garlic and peroxide so you cut the garlic up put it in the bottle and then throw the amount of peroxide that you want to be in there and you can just spray that on the finger or on the toe trust me guys this it grows your nail my toenail were like as soon as they grow to you know it break and then you see that little sharp short short tumper little nail right now my toenails are beautiful my husband had aloe it was aloe his big toenail because he do construction so you wear the shoe that has the the metal in the front so um i think this particular shoe was bigger than his his foot so it ran right into it and that nail stayed there and it started to grow hollow and i introduced this to him and guys it's not hollow anymore it grows right out and looks normally don't have that black black spot no more or anything so ladies and it's good for fungus as well you know garlic is like medicine and peroxide is um you know peroxide is good to put on cuts or anything to clean it so then you have everything in this bottle and guys trust me it works i won't stray you wrong i will not stray you wrong or that's right right <laughs> stare you wrong yes yes i will never stare you wrong all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and see my countdown to my anniversary so tomorrow will be that day so by the time you see this video it will already be that day all right guys so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna continue for the week because i think i have a little small little this that that things to show talk about and all that so guys have a wonderful day remember to like subscribe share comment on this video so see you on the day bye